everyone, it's Kirsten from the University of Lethbridge Art Gallery. On today's Culture Vulture From Home, we will be making little abstract paintings using the squeegee or smear effect. I hope you have fun. So for today's activity, you will need some different types of paint. I'm just using basic acrylic, some bits of cardboard from your recycling. Firm is good, and you want to make sure it has one straight flat edge. Just different types, whatever you have. You also need the paper that you're doing your artwork on and some painter's tape comes in handy. So these are the type of paintings we're gonna be making. They're abstract and they're about color and shape and they're a lot of fun. So let's make them. Get your colors and your cardboard and your sheet of paper. Today I'm using cardstock because it's a little bit firmer than regular paper so it'll stand up to paint better. You could use canvas, watercolor paper, or regular paper. I've just put a little piece of tape just so it'll hold my paper. When I tug on it, it won't come towards me. Then is the fun part. Take your colors, whatever colors you like, and just do some dots, some shapes, some lines on your page. You do not need a lot. You really only need a little bit to have a big impact. And I'm just dripping it right out of my little tubes here. You could use a brush if you wanted as well. But you want to make sure that there's enough on the page. Alright, see that? I just have it there, a few little dribbles, little drops. Now is the magic part. Get your piece of cardboard. You can see I've used this one before. Make sure it has a one flat edge. You're going to start at the top and drag it down across your paint. This is just like screen printing if you've ever done that. So you're just going to drag it nice and slowly and see how all the colors blend and bleed together. At the bottom, you're going to give a scoop and lift it up. And there we go. You might get some blobs at the bottom, but just let them dry and they'll look great. Then you can very carefully peel your little bit of tape off the paper and set it aside to dry. So when you want to do another one, just get another sheet of paper, put on your little sticky tape to hold it in place. If you don't have tape, you could hold it with one hand while you drag. It's just a little trickier. And do it again. This time, let's do one with greens and blues and lots of dots. See what happens. I like how every time I do this, I get such a different outcome. They never turn out how I expect they're going to, but they always look so cool. And again, you don't need a lot of paint, just some drops. Hmm, let's add some pink to give it a bit of contrast. So you can think about colors that work well together. You can think about contrasting colors. Make sure your piece of cardboard is wide enough to get all of your paint in. That one's better. All right, and then we drag it. While you're going down, you could even move it back and forth to make a different effect. And you can go right to the bottom if you want. Just make sure you have a surface that you can clean up okay. Wow, this one turned out so cool. Aren't these fun? Super simple, really easy, and they make really cool artworks. Because they're abstract, they could go any direction. I kind of like this direction. You could even do little ones on little pieces of paper to maybe make 
a card for a friend or a family member. Let's do a little one. I'm thinking lots of yellow this time. Whoa, I put a lot on. That might be a little too much paint. Again, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. If you're short on cardboard, after you squeegee it, you could wipe it off to reuse it. If you're getting tired of having that gunk on the bottom, get another piece and scoop it like this right off your page. So after they're all dry, you can assemble them. Don't they look amazing? I just love making these. They're so much fun. And you can draw into them if you like. This one is not my favorite, so I'm going to draw into it. You could trace out the shapes, maybe in different colors. You could add different textures to make them more interesting. You could draw real life things over top of them, whatever you want. There, that turned one that wasn't my favorite, I think, into my new favorite. This one I went back and painted in a yellow sun and a lake around it because I thought it looked like a big, mysterious island somewhere in the ocean. All right, I hope you had fun. I just love this craft and they all turn out looking so cool. It's really fun to experiment with abstract art, which again is just shapes, lines, and colors. All right, I hope you had fun, bye. I hope that you had lots of fun making smear paintings with me. I know I did. Be sure to check back on our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and website for more updates and crafts you can do from home. Bye!